If you can accommodate, accommodate. This is the line, and we're not gonna cross this line. It makes me a little nervous. It's Alice from Fin Slippy. As you may have heard, the director, writer, sometimes actor, personality, um, opinionated man, Kevin Smith, was kicked off a plane for being of size. This is my personal favorite new euphemism, of size. But it, it's not the only reason people are getting thrown off planes, and it makes me a little nervous. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like flight attendants are becoming police, policemen, police officers in a lot of ways, where they're determining that people are acceptable to be on their plane or not. I think that kicking somebody off the plane after they've been seated already is mortifying. And I don't think anybody should be put in that situation of embarrassment. You know, I don't blame Southwest Airlines for having some sort of restriction rule. I mean, there are overweight people that should not be, sh that need to take up two seats. I don't know what the solution is. However, there is a precedent. Remember when somebody sued McDonald's for not having um, accommodating seating? And there was a huge flap over it and McDonald's made accommodations and, and now I see loose seats around, you know, it's just like regular metal chairs that you can move around at McDonald's. So if I were an airline, I would look to McDonald's for a precedent. If you can accommodate, accommodate. And look, I, I sympathize with the flight attendants. You know, you, a quick glance through the web, looking at some flight attendant blogs and reading their point of view, they deal with a lot. And the airlines suck, and they're making the seats smaller, so sorry, people of size. Now you have even less space to cram yourselves into. But I'm just wondering how you guys think about this, because every time I get on a flight with my son, I worry a little bit, right? Even when I'm alone. Because I don't know if I might set one of them off. In, like, in the airline industry, you got the CEO. Well, I, fish rots at the head. I gotta tell you, these people up at the top are making decisions, and it's this guy near the top who is ultimately responsible for how wide those seats are. Because he, as a, a, a you know, as a responsibility to his shareholders and superiors or board, he's got to make sure that he gets as many bodies into that tube as possible, as is reasonably possible. So they have this very specific measurement, no doubt. It's so hard, in general, to come up with some sort of rule that says, you know, this is the line, and we're not going to cross this line. I mean, everybody has a line, and everybody should be able to dictate what that line is because I don't think that there is a good line when you're making a judgment about any sensitive talk, topic like weight or um, you know a child who has autism who is acting out on the plane I mean it's just so difficult you know what do you guys think what do you think we should do what do you think whose fault is it can we all agree it's the airlines right it's not the flight attendants not the pilots so how can we make it better are there any flight attendants out there? What would you guys do? What would you have us do? How can we serve you? Join the Monversation at monversation.com.